Although in the studio I would normally make full use of my digital projector, there's an older, low-tech way of transferring the proportions of a drawing or photograph to a painting surface. Transfer paper. It's more accurate than a grid system, and it's especially well suited for rigid surfaces like small painting panels. In a pinch, you can make your own transfer paper by rubbing graphite on one side of tracing paper. But Sural paper is made specifically for artists, and it's convenient to use. It comes in a variety of colors. It's wax-free, so as not to repel some kinds of paint. It's erasable, and each sheet can be used multiple times. If the destination surface is white, I'll typically choose graphite or red color. Red is nice because it differs from any other drawing marks, and with oil paint, I will end up covering the entire drawing anyway. If my paint was going to be completely transparent, as with a watercolor, I might choose graphite. The source image, of course, needs to be the same size as the finished work. A drawing or photo can be enlarged or reduced to the appropriate size with a photocopier. A photocopy or laser print is a good idea in any case because the source image is going to be pretty much ruined during the process. When I've decided upon an exact position for the transfer to happen, I attach the source image to the destination surface with wide tape. It's important that the source image never shifts, so make sure that the hinge you're creating is well secured and will stand up to repeated lifting and dropping. Next, I'm going to place a sheet of the Sural paper between the source image and the destination surface. The more intense or darker side goes face down. The dull side faces up. I found that a ballpoint pen works best. What we're really after is hard pressure in a narrow line. I tend to use a pen with red ink because it makes it easier to see where I've already been on the source image. Remember to maintain a hard, even pressure to get a consistent transfer. You don't want the light, delicate touch that you might use ordinarily when making a drawing. Subtlety will not transfer. Too light a touch will only result in missing lines. After I've made a few lines, I'll lift up the source image and check to make sure that the transfer is happening and that I can see the result well enough. Assuming the tape hinge is solid, I can check my progress as often as I like. It's helpful to know that your source image and destination surface can be pretty much as large as you like. It all still works as long as the Sural paper is carefully positioned to be sandwiched in the area where you are working. When I have enough information from the source image, I can remove it from the surface. I will often reinforce the transfer drawing with pencil, or even ink, so that it will be easier to see if paint is my next step. The Sural transfer will stand up to some painting mediums well enough, but for insurance, I tend to fix all drawings with a fixative spray like Krylon Crystal Clear. 
On those occasions when I'm transferring to a dark surface, I'll use the yellow color. This might be a dark gesso, like the panel shown here, but it could also be a painting in progress or even the dark ground of an etching plate. Remember, these transfer drawings are not meant to be beautiful in themselves. They are only for your use in establishing a drawing, or perhaps for making a map of value steps. How the finished work turns out is still very much in question, but you've saved yourself some time and given yourself a leg up before continuing the work. I hope that was of some help. Take care.